I installed a freestanding tub in my basement bathroom and needed to have this profile cut into the quartz stone so that the shelf would fit nicely between the wall and the tub. Modeling the profile up was easy with Mastercam. To create the arc that followed the shape of the tub, I put masking tape on the tub and measured from the corner of the wall every inch. From that I was able to create a spline in Mastercam and then saved the file in DXF format to send to the stone cutter. However, their CNC machine was unable to follow a spline toolpath. Years ago I ran into this problem with an old water jet cutter and I knew right away what to do. From the wireframe ribbon, I chose the drop down arrow below refit spline and then select it simplify spline. I selected the spline, ended the selection and accepted this. Then from the home ribbon I analyzed the entity again. Unfortunately this command doesn't always simplify all splines as was the case with my spline. I needed to find a way to convert the spline into simple lines and arcs and the usual method wasn't working. Fortunately the black plot menu will also allow a spline to be converted into lines and arcs. To use backplot to convert the geometry from a spline into lines and arcs, I first created this contour toolpath to follow the spline. Next, I'll select the backplot, then the Save as Geometry option. I'll accept this to save the geometry, then play the simulation. I'll exit the simulation, go to the level manager, and turn all levels except for 255 off. As I move my mouse around the newly created geometry, it can be seen that this is no longer one spline, but a series of small lines and arcs. I can now use the File Save Sum option, Window Select, the new geometry and save this geometry as a DXF file that the CNC stone cutting machine can now read. Unfortunately, the simplify command won't always simplify a spline into lines and arcs. When this is the case, the backplot feature can be used to save the toolpath into usable geometry for such machines.